March uh, 10th, crisis happened. Uh, then uh, April, my visit America, and May, visit Europe. Wherever I go, some demonstrations from Chinese student. And initially, a few hundred. And then gradually, less and less. Less and less. One occasion in Rochester, I met with some Chinese student. I actually, you see, I want to, to meet them. And I think six or seven, you see, finally arranged a meeting. A lot of anger. Fortunately, between us is one big table. Otherwise, they miss uh, what's it do, do that. <laughs> really. Uh, it's too much emotion. So, so they wouldn't listen to my explanation. Out of six or five, uh, two of them are uh, willing to listen to my explanation. But the remaining, no. Just you see, showing their irritation and anger like that. Then at that time, uh, from, from, from that time, so we try special effort, meeting with more Chinese, and including some local Chinese media. Then eventually, that kind of sort of uh, angry face then reduced. Nowadays, sometimes you see, before my, re my sort of visit, some circulation, demonstration will come. But actually, uh, nothing happened. <laughs> so it seems officials want to more demonstration. But individuals now do not want to come to demonstrate. Just correct. Because they are allowed to go. One in northern uh, in the Netherlands, it happened. One kasa. Uh, you were uh, there. Uh, I cannot pronounce this that properly. <laughs> that state I never been. Just the first time, so I cannot pronounce properly. <laughs> there also, you see, uh, before my reaching, some circulation, some through internet or something, there uh, some demonstration will take place. The, the actual day, nothing happened. So these are some signs better understanding. But in the meantime, there I met with some Chinese student, uh, some are still a <laughs> little bit a uh, uh, little bit I'll say the cautious, too much cautious, that kind of thing. And even it's refuse to take picture because they are fear. Like that. So yes finished now. Uh, oh, so, 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 you see, Questions. They, we ask Tibetans wherever they sort of live and where more Chinese students also there, please set up some kind of friendship group and make familiar each other. Uh, then, you see, they, these sort of, also the negative feeling due to misunderstanding will not take place. So I'm very happy here, some Tibetan student and Han people sort of, I'm Han sort of student together. I'm very happy. Yes. <laughs> yes, any questions? Thank you. Uh, thank you, the Dalai Lama. I have a question for you. First, uh, I had heard recently you point out you are a Maxim, uh, which is the socialist. My question is, uh, what will do to reach the idea of the socialism in the inside of the Tibet? Thank you. Uh, I think, firstly, genuine socialism must develop within mainland China. <laughs> then genuine socialism can develop the other minority area. Uh, look, China. Uh, although uh, I always see, uh, sort of say, disc, uh, notice uh, four eras: Chairman Mao's era, Deng Xiaoping era, Jiang Zemin era. Uh, Wu Jintao era. 
Moore's era. I know very well Chairman Moore. Uh, and Chairman Moore almost considered me as uh, his own son. I also consider him as my father. Very nice. So often, you see, the meal or some banquet, you see, Chairman Moore always bring me his side, his side next. So he feeding me. Hmm. So one way, feel very proud, Chairman Moore uh, feeding me. One way, a little bit cautious because he's often coughing. <laughs> so you see, through his chopstick, I may get some sort of germs. <laughs> <laughs> so in any way, uh, I feel at that time, I think the concert of Kung uh, Tui, final sort of target, that also worldwide, then through Shri Tui, under the leadership of Communist Party, that is sort of goals and method. And all the party members at that time, full of enthusiasm. I noticed, uh, I spent about five months in Peking, five or six months. Then the remaining few months, I tour many provinces. So I really admire this Communist Party member, leaders and those sort of party members, really dedicated. No concern about money. No concern about their personal sort of, or say, life. Then, uh, so at that time, I very much attracted about Marxism. So I asked concerned official, I want to join Chinese Communist Party. So still, I'm Marxist. There's no question. Socialist, Marxist. But not Leninist. Lenin to uh, too much emphasis on power, cruelty. And most of the session also I doubt. <laughs> In early period, yes, Muslim thinking, wonderful, really leader, what was that? What was that? genuine leader of revolutionary, wonderful. But then around 1956, 57, I think power ruined him. That's very clear. Uh, and anyway, the next sort of era, Ding, Ding Xiaoping era, I say Ding Xiaoping now emphasis People's living standard, economy is more important, more urgent. Uh, ideology, uh, now okay. So he sort of have sort of courage to follow capitalism. That really brought big change in people from China. So now middle class, so they're increasing, or middle class there. And then millionaire or billionaire also there, according to some newspaper you see mentioned the uh, after U United States, the biggest number of billionaire now in China. <laughs> so uh, so that's Ding Xiaoping sort of uh, era really turned China, and also these young student, bright student, you see now have the opportunity to go to the West and carry study. Wonderful. Then, Jiang Zemin era. Now, new reality. You see, the, uh, see the, the middle class and also uh, rich family, rich sort of rich community, very influence, influential in the society. So, the Communist Party no longer the party of working class people. So, the idea of three represents come. 